Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a colour and chat. Um, the first one that's on my channel. So in this video, hopefully you can see okay, I am using my Comfy Patterns Bold Easy Colouring Book by Coco Wyo. And I'm just going to do this page, which is of some bows um, and flowers and love hearts. I'm just going to get a bit of paper to put behind this page. Excuse this paper, it was used for a different um, page last week, I think. So, I'm just going to start off. I'm using my touch alcohol markers I got from Shein just because... Um, they work well in this book and they're easy to use. So, um, the first colour I'm using is number 11, Carmen, which is a red colour for the hearts. So, I'm just going to go ahead and um, colour in the hearts first and then we'll move on. I'm using red for the hearts. Um, for the bows, I'm using two different shades of pinks. And then I've got like a yellow and black one for the flowers. So I'm hoping you can see this okay. Yeah, I've never done a colour in chat just because, I don't know, I just I just feel like it's going to be hard to colour with um, and talk at the same time. Hopefully this turns out alright though because, um, yeah, I picked quite an easy page. There was another page in this book which is even easier. But I did that one off camera, so I cannot do that one. The background, I'm not going to bother colouring in. I think up here, at the top, these are meant to be love hearts as well. I'm hoping you can see all of this. Yeah, no videos planned. For this coming week so I was like I need to get something filmed and I didn't really want to do a diamond painting I haven't done any diamond painting in a few weeks now I kitted up a Mickey Mouse diamond painting I think it was like a 30 times 40 something like that and I just never got started so I just um yeah ne never really I don't know, I just, just then decided I didn't want to do it. And then I did a 20 times 20 diamond painting, which I believe was featured on this channel, a dolphin one. And after that, that took me a bit of time to do, but then I completed it. And since then, I've just not kitted up anymore. I just, I want to do it. It's just, I can't be bothered with the mess of diamond painting at the moment like having all the different trays out and things and even though I can put it all away in like a storage container my main storage is used for my Mickey Mouse painting at the moment and then I've only got one other set of storage and they're not they're like little plastic ones which aren't as good and I just I don't know I just feel like I'll kit it up and then not want to actually do it so I'm not going to be I'm not doing that at the moment um, just trying to find the time to do it. I've been doing a little bit of colouring. I've been doing a bit of reading as well. So I was reading um, the book Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Because I've not read any of her books and wanted to read them. One and I wasn't really that impressed with it. It's a small town romance book and to be honest I vaguely knew that before I went in I didn't really know much about it and I don't really like small town romances to be honest I just yeah the ending was a bit predictable and loads of people rave about the book and say it's really really good and I just didn't feel like that um I think I rated it three stars on goodreads so, yeah, um, 
it was easy to read though i will give you that like i wanted a romance something a bit easy to read um and that's what i got um i'm now reading a crystal book so it's called if i can find it and show you crystals the guide to principles practices and more um by lauren the silver i've got able to show you that properly but that book i um picked up from someone recommended it and i picked it up from amazon it was a bit expensive it was like 15 pounds and that's the price like that's the price of like some books in in um waterstones you know most crystal books i've picked up have been under 10 pounds so it was quite pricey but it is a very very informative book and what i like is i've read other crystal books i've got a fair few but i find the um what's the word i find them to be good but now i'm getting more into crystals there's a lot of crystals that i've seen that aren't featured in those books whereas this has a bigger directory of crystals so yeah so far so good it's good because it tells you about the history of crystals all that type of thing so yeah i've been purchasing some more crystals as well i'm just going to do the centers of these flowers so i've got an actual package of crystals coming today um and the thing is, I can't quite remember what I've ordered. I know I ordered a jade crystal bracelet. But I don't really know. I can't remember what else I've ordered, which is really, really bad. Um, I think it's, I think I ordered a calcite heart, potentially. No, citrine. That's it, a citrine heart. And then I'm pretty sure there's something else I've ordered. But, um, yeah, I can't really remember. I got, yeah, I've been, I've been buying a few crystals recently. Um, I, I got yesterday a tiered, um, plastic storage display thing from Amazon. I mean, it's like an acrylic storage, but it's like a tiered one. It looks like stairs, kind of. But um, I picked that up from Amazon. Well, I got that yesterday from Amazon to put my crystals on. Because they were on like a mirrored tray, which is fine. But I was a bit running out of a bit of space. And also, I don't know, I wanted something a bit nicer to display them on. But you could see them a little bit better. So I really, really like this. And then for some of my larger crystals, um, such as my spheres, I've got little stands to put them on as well. So yeah, it's, it's looking nice. I'll try and show an updated picture of my crystals at some point for anyone that's interested. Okay, I'm gonna do the flowers next. But yeah, what is everyone doing today? Um, saying that by the time I've uploaded it, it's gonna be getting into the evening or what's everyone done? I've been, well, I'm filming this in the morning, so I haven't really done anything today yet. I'm going shopping later on to do my food shopping. Um, I'm waiting for my new crystals to arrive. Then I'm going to be cleansing all my crystals. I, what else am I doing today? I'm doing food shopping. I'm going to be cooking dinner. Yeah, I'm really craving some cake. Um, but I shouldn't really be eating cake. I've been really wanting to get, like, a key lime pie. Oh, gosh, don't tell me that didn't. No, that's okay. I've been really wanting to get a key lime pie, and I don't know how to get one in the UK. Um, because I've been searching and searching, and nowhere really seems to sell them. The closest thing I got the other week was a key lime pie cheesecake. It was from the brand Goo, I think it's G-U, how you pronounce it. They come in little pots and they had a promotion on at Morrison's. 
so I did get, I did, or like an offer on, so I did get some, but I wasn't impressed. I felt the flavour was really bland and lacking, and it wasn't really what I wanted, so it's a shame because they're, they're quite expensive. To be honest, I'm not a mass fan of many of their cheesecakes and that, I just don't know, I just not really a fan of them as much but yeah if anyone knows where you can get a key lime party please let me know because I've been looking I've seen that Iceland do like a big key lime pie cheesecake but that isn't really what I want I want like an actual key lime pie um but I think that's more an American thing so I don't think I'll be able to get that across in this country Failing that, I'll just get something else. They've got like this, I don't know what it, can't remember what it was. I think it is lime flavoured, like, cake in Sainsbury's at the moment. It's um one of their, like, small sponge cakes. And smaller sponge cakes. And it's like, they've got, like, loads of different flavours. But I think this is, like, a limited edition summer flavour. But it's, like, £2 something. And I'm not paying that for what it is. I don't know. I'm just... I'm a bit of a cheapskate anyway, but it just seems really expensive. I think they did one, was it like in autumn or winter? Or maybe even last summer, it was like a latte flavoured one. And that was not nice. Sorry, I'm just going off on a tangent about cakes now. Um, but yeah, it's not really anything else to talk about talk about um I haven't really got anything to film because yeah I haven't <laughs> um I need to I need to really like do some more filming I was going to film one of my um diamond painting stickers like completing one of those but like I think I said in in the haul video the the drills can be used for multiple stickers. Like you have some of the same same drills on stickers. So like the yellow one is used on multiple different stickers. And obviously if I then open it, I've got to then use it. I can probably kit it and store it away. But I don't really want to be doing that at the moment. I don't know. I don't like sort of kitting diamond paintings up and then not doing them. I like to try and do sort of one at a time and then I like to try and do one at a time and then kit it up and like do it, not like leave it lying around. And unfortunately that's what I've done with the Mickey Mouse one. I really think I should just get on with it and crack on. Oh, I just can't be bothered. Maybe I'm off work, like, in a little bit of time, like, in a week or two. I might just spend some time then doing it. I'm just going to have a drink. So, these are the pinks I'm using. I didn't say, but I used... For the yellow, I used pastel yellow from number 37. And then the black is 120. And then for the bows, I'm using 17 pastel pink and 84 pastel violet. Um, these are both pink colours. I think I will use I will use this for the inside of the bow. No, I will use this for the outside of the bow. I'll use number 17 the inside of the bow this is going to be hopefully quite a quick diamond painting to do because uh, not diamond painting coloring to do I 
I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like nine something, maybe ten something. I'm waiting for um, my crystal order to come with every. And then I've got um, Royal Mail coming to collect a couple of parcels as well. Just things that I've sold on on eBay. So I need to get those collected. Um, I was having issues with them collecting stuff. But this past week they've been quite good. I mean I can take it if need be. But the problem is, is um, if you take it into the post office you're charged 20p per item because of. I've pre-done the label at home. If you take it to the delivery office, you've got to go between set hours because that's the only time they're open. And then I can take things to the parcel post box, which I tend to do for smaller items, but for larger, like one of the items I've sold is, is a video game console. So it's a bit bigger and it's a bit difficult to, um, obviously I can't put it in there, so. Yeah, tomorrow hopefully the weather is going to be nice because I'm going to go to the car boot sale again. Um, the thing is, it's saying like rain on like... it. Well, it was saying about rain, but then when I watched the weather last night or looked at, <clears throat> looked at the weather on Met Office, it said it was going to be a sunshine and clouds. So, I don't know. If it does rain, I will just go to go into town and just go to some charity shops. But to be honest, I'm not very, I don't really like charity shops much because the prices are just getting ridiculous in there. My lo One of my local charity shops did have a pound sale the other day, which is really good. And I was like, because obviously I buy stuff to resell. I want to get stuff that's going to obviously resell, but I was like, for a pound, I, maybe not, I, I wasn't picking up like cheap, cheap stuff like Primark or, you know, Tesco clothing, that type of thing, but maybe some stuff which was like, I don't know how to describe it, like maybe if it was say River Island or Next. I would consider picking it up um, and even if I just sell it for like a few pounds or like five pounds on Vinted I'm still making a little bit of money from it because I was only a pound originally but when I went in I just picked up a few items I quite liked the look of and thought you know they're okay but I was like I'll go back in a few days I came home and then was like I should have got more so I was like I'll go back in a few days and just pick some more stuff up in this pound sale but when I went back um, of course a lot of it had gone so yeah I can't do that but um I'll see because sometimes they do add more stuff to this to sales so I'll see what happens in there but some of the charity shop prices um if anyone in here goes to charity shops even if you're not like buying stuff to to sell it you might just be buying it for yourself the prices are ridiculous like I've seen in one charity shop where I live Bear in mind, I live down south, so the prices here are going to be more. I've seen people on YouTube who live up north and they can get stuff at such cheap prices. Um, yes, this is the other colour. Um, but the prices are just mad. I've seen like one charity shop I saw a Primark top for like £6. And it did have some sort of pattern on or something. But I was like, it can't be much more than £6 in the store. Brand new. Um, another charity shop. I saw them selling shoe shoes from Shoe Zone for £8 used. I'm like, they don't probably cost much more than £8 anyway. we not in Shoe Zone. Um, don't know. Haven't been to Shoe Zone, in, shoe zone in years. I don't even know... I don't even know if anyone really goes there anymore because it's always really quiet whenever I walk past but then they always seem to stay open which is just mad really but yeah
But where I live now is getting a bit, a bit depressing because so many shops have shut down. It's just, it's just looking really just bad. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, something gets done about this. I think just everywhere things need to get done, regardless of where you live. Even in like central London, lots of shops are shut now and it's just really depressing to see. I was watching some I was watching some diamond diamond paintings um being sold on TV the other day. I was randomly flicking through the TV and then I came across a um a craft shopping channel, Create and Craft, and I was like, I'm pretty sure I've heard of this before, but I've never seen it because I don't really watch shopping channels. But I thought I'll have a look. And then they had like some I can't remember the name of the brand, but it was something a brand that is used in like paper crafts. And I was like, I recognise this brand. I'm pretty sure they sell this stuff in hobby craft or something. And then I just randomly was looking at the TV guide. And then it said Crystal Art. And I had a look on their website and stuff. And um, saw what it was. And then I watched it. Um, I didn't buy anything. But they had um, Craft Buddy on um, selling Crystal Art on, on the shopping channel. I was like, this is so cool. There was some really lovely like canvas paintings and stuff on there. They were doing a mixture of stuff. They were doing some of their cards, some of their canvas paintings. And then I can't remember what else. Was it like a shopping bag or like some other like maybe bits that you, something you hang on the wall or something. Um, the only time I've ordered from Craft Buddy was when I got those um, Disney crystal art stickers. But, because I just, I, I really like the idea of some of this, some of their um, diamond arts. They look so nice. And when I, I will admit, when I did the crystal art stickers, it felt good quality. But at the same time, like, their canvases were like £20 or something. And I'm like, I don't want to spend that much on something. So, um, but it was interesting. And I looked to see what else is on, on the, um channel they do like they were doing a show with like posca pens i think um i can't i can't quite remember i think their website had like deco time on as well which is like the um coloring supplies like um pens and stuff that you get in b and m so um yeah and some other bits i was like oh, this is this is i've never really seen this before because i don't i don't really watch much live tv because half the time nothing is on but there's odd occasions i just flip through the tv and quite often sometimes i go through the tv and you can like remove channels but then they seem to just creep up and put different channels on there for you so um yeah it's quite interesting really There was another one as well, I can't remember what it's called, like Hobby, Hobby World, I don't know, I can't remember, but that also did um, some craft stuff, but there wasn't sort of as much um, brands on that one, but yeah, very interesting. I did have, <clears throat> I did have a look on Vinted, someone's going to have a quick drink. I did have a look on Vinted to see if they said it. Anyone sold any crystal art stuff on there? And I saw some stuff, but not a um like craft buddy stuff. Sorry, I saw some stuff on there, but not a massive amount. Um, I have watched QVC in the past, 
um, who's not gonna lie, that actually has some good, good brands on QVC. Um, but I had a bad experience. I was ordering, not from the TV, I was like ordering on their website one time. It was like some good deal on them gift sets i think it was like molten brown or l'occitane or something and i was like these would make good christmas gifts but um they never arrived and then apparently they were out of stock but they failed to inform me and uh, yeah but i think i did order from them since then and it was all right but i just don't really have, I don't have the time to watch stuff like that and i don't really want to sit and watch shopping channels because I don't really need to spend any more money, so. Not many, one, two, four left to do. Yeah, I love these markers so much. I don't know if I said, but I sold my Ohuhu markers because I didn't need two sets of markers. I don't have much space and I just wasn't using my Ohuhu ones anymore. So, um, I just sold them and I'm just using these ones um, now and doing yesterday I was using my um my paint pens and doing some coloring in my cottage core book um beautiful book that is I've done about one after this page I've done two four and a half pages of colouring this month which isn't too bad to be honest we're only at the beginning of June so I'm impressed actually I'm really impressed I need to get reading my um, tarot book as well and having a look at that there's so much to learn with tarot I want to go for like a professional tarot reading and there's a crystal shop that um not far from where I live and I went in the other day and was randomly asking if they know anywhere I can do tarot readings and they said they sometimes get people into their shop they have like a room they hire out where they can do tarot readings but they said um we announced on Facebook, our Facebook page, when this is happening, you have to be quick at messaging us because they get filled up. And I'm thinking, I don't use Facebook. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, I just kind of just went with it. But I was like, I don't use Facebook. And I'm not joining Facebook just to see that. So I might have a look elsewhere. Because I would love to have my tarot read. I feel like it would be so cool. Quite a nice pink colour, it's like a Barbie pink, I would say. Reminds me the colour of like um a Barbie a Barbie car I had as a child. 
you can't even see me colour this bit up here. Um, I'm almost done this bit though. And then I'll do, just got this one to do up here and then I'm done. Need a coffee in a minute. Um, I think I've still got some of those, those cans of iced coffee that I got from um, Amazon. They're quite nice. I've had them before from the shop. Um, so I knew what they were like. And they are nice. I wouldn't say they're my favourite. But they are nice. I used to be able to make iced coffee at home. But I've misplaced my... Um, what's it called? I've misplaced my... Uh, what's it? Oh, my brain. I've mispla misplaced my ice cube tray. But kind of like it's looking a bit... grey outside I don't know I'm kind of kind of wanting like a hot coffee to be honest so I might just have a hot coffee today oh yeah sorry about that my door just went off but um anyway here we go I finished it now so this is the completed page um yeah quick easy page nothing like it's very simple but um, I think for my first time, it was first time doing a whipping chat of colouring. It was good. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. Please do give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.